Hello everyone. This is Swikriti, uh, your tour guide for today's virtual tour journey. We also have our facilitators as Samartho, Amulya, uh, Jayshree, um, Suraj, with us. Today I'll be taking you through the virtual tour of Nature's Wonder. But first, let me tell a bit about our organization, Bhumi. Have you heard of it, children? If you have heard anything, if you have heard anything about Bhumi, just let us know in the comment box. Well, let me tell you about Bhumi. Bhumi is an NGO, a non-governmental organization which works for the social and the environmental issues of our society and also for the education of unprivileged children. Our logo is Change Today, Change Tomorrow. Around 30,000 volunteers are currently associated with Bhumi from more than eight major cities of India. Over to you, Samartho. Thank you, Srikriti, for the lovely introduction. Hi, everyone. Hi, children. So I hope you are all settled up and ready to go on the virtual tour. And as you can see on your screens that Bhumi, it is one of India's largest independent volunteer organizations. It is currently operational in more than 12 cities with around 15 years of experience. So now that we have known about Bhumi, let us see what EcoFest is all about. So has anyone heard about EcoFest? Please type in the comment section. Okay, so as you can see, EcoFest is basically a summer camp. This, uh, wonderful summer camps you have heard about or seen in movies, but this is currently a virtual summer camp, eco-friendly summer camp where we have various events Various events which include art workshop, magic show, virtual tour, best out of best, everything that you can think of except your studies. And all of them are really interesting. And it is an event which is organized by EcoChamps, which is also a part of Bhumi. So now everyone, once you are all settled, let us now finally get ready to delve into the wonderful world of deep sea and Antarctica. So first we will be diving into the virtual world of the deep sea. We will be starting the video in a few minutes. Over to you, Akshay. So friends, can anyone tell me that uh, the EcoFest is organized on the eve event of a special day? Can anyone tell me the day, which is in fact, which was yesterday, the 5th of June? Please type in the comment section. So Samurtho, are you ready for the journey to the beautiful underwater world of deep sea. Yes, I'm very excited. And I believe all the kids are also. So without further delay, let us begin. Yes, the deep sea creatures and fishes are all waiting to welcome you all kids. So I hope you will enjoy the journey. And kids, please use your headphones for a much better audio, audio experience. And if possible, please increase your volumes of your devices. 
सो लेट अस बिगिन आवर जर्नी सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आर यू रेडी टू सेट ऑन अ वर्चुअल डाइव on the coral reefs swim with the sun rays sea turtles and sharks while you explore the beautiful and the threatened coral ecosystem the ocean is this magical complex beautiful place but almost nobody sees it the ocean protects us it feeds us yet few can see how beautiful and powerful it can be what we don't see we don't connect with therefore we need to look so that we can change the circumstances the deep is the largest habitant of the planet taking up to 95% of the earth's living space yet it is almost unexplored The diversity of life in the ocean is like no terrestrial place on earth. Biodiversity is the collection of life in all its shapes and forms. We depend upon biodiversity for clean water, for air, for food, medicines and for the overall resilience of our planet. Do you know my dear friends? that the world's ocean contains about 5 to 10 million Earth. marine species well yes including fishes and mammals the wonderful brightly colored planet like species that you see are actually a part of coral reefs most deep sea creatures have shells in their bodies that enables them to make light and survive in the deep dark ocean the light enables the creature to find their way and attract their prey most angular fish live in the dark deep ocean of the atlantic and the arctic as far as a mile below the surface these are usually brown or gray in color and they can grow up to 3 feet long they have giant heads big mouths and a sharp teeth that make them look like something straight out of a horror movie the largest deep sea fish is called the greenland shark which has a 6.4 meter the hidden bay has a mangrove system of clear mirrors still blue water where soft corals grow in the roots of the mangrove tree at the heart of this diversity in the ocean is one of the most amazing ecosystem of our planet and that is the coral reef when you look at the coral reef what you actually see is like a cathedral like which is a huge structure corals they compete for space that is why they grow side by side or on top of the other now that it saves space it creates space for other organisms to live in the water but sadly the biodiversity in our ocean is declining rapidly we are losing species before we even discover them on coral reefs higher than the normal ocean temperature are causing the corals to turn white and die do you know a fun fact that corals produce their own sunscreens so the major threats to the coral reefs are those associated with climate change and the responsibility to protect the coral reefs is not limited to the people that live right beside them we need to raise our voice for more sustainable practice and walk the talk 
when it comes to our individual choices regarding sustainability as a consumer. Now, do you know that coral covers has declined about 50% in the last 50 years? And much of these changes occurred during the global bleaching event which was held from 2015 to 2017, which was unprecedented in scale? Well, has anyone of you heard about the Great Barrier Reef? Well, most of you are correct. The Great Barrier Reef of the coast of Australia is one of the most biodiverse ecosystems found in the planet. And do you know it is the world's largest coral reef ecosystem composed of over 2900 individual reefs, 900 islands and stretches around 300 km. Well, the numbers are indeed high. What we need to do is we need to be a part of nature. And as part of nature, we will depend upon this coral reefs. Education is everything and we should educate people that they are deeply indebted towards mother nature. We, you, I, as a youth gives hope for the future and for our planet in the expansion of global movements. It is really beautiful to see kids like you completely transform and get ready to take on these global problems. Life in the ecosystem can reproduce and preserve in amazing ways. Coral can replenish themselves through mass serving events each year. There is a tremendous power that built into this genetics and to the evolution of coral reefs. And if we give them half a chance, they can recover on their own. To celebrate the importance of ocean and its biodiversity, the United Nations have designated 8th June as the International World Ocean Day. Remember, it's 8th June. The ocean grants that kind of magical feeling that the land cannot really offer. When you see the beauty and the magic of the ocean closely, how could you not protect it? It is not too big a problem and together we can solve it. We have managed systems. We can do anything. We just need to create awareness and we have to allow ourselves to begin and get busy. Let's together start a day that will make a difference and create awareness among others that will make a difference too in the society. We will and we can start a movement. Do you know, my dear friends, that the loudest ocean sound remained a mystery for about 15 years and no one, in fact no one, knows about it. But today, let me share with you. The ocean is deeper than Mount Everest. Yes, my friends, the ocean is deeper than the Mount Everest and that's the last fact that I really want to share with you. The ocean is full of gold. Under the beds, you can find gold. Yes, my dearest friends, we are rich in gold. I hope you love the journey of this virtual tour of this deep sea. Now, if you have any query, let us know. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed. Wow, it was indeed a breathtaking experience, completely mesmerizing.
I felt as if I was swimming with those amazing creatures underwater. What do you have to say, kids? Please post your comments in the comment section. What do you have to say about these amazing videos, about the amazing creatures, the coral reefs that you all saw in this video? Weren't they completely breathtaking? We are waiting for your questions and your experiences. Please mention them in the chat box. We would love to hear them. So what do you have to say, Swikriti, about this wonderful journey? Over to you, Swikriti. Uh, yes, it indeed was very amazing. I felt as if I was swimming with the sea creatures underwater and I'm sure the kids must have enjoyed it too. Am I right, kids? Yes, kids. We are waiting for your answers, for your, exp for your experiences. How did you feel? Please let us know in the comment section. We are all waiting. So I already have a question from uh, Kanika Arora. She says, is it bigger or equal than Mount Everest? Kanika, what do you think? Do you think that the depth of the sea would be longer than the Mount Everest? It's really hard to imagine. But in fact, that is correct. It is even taller than the Mount Everest if we calculate it correctly in terms of depth. So you can imagine the fascinating world, the fascinating area of the total number of creatures, total variety of creatures, the biodiversity that is present underwater. Very good question. We also have another question, very interesting one. Are there sharks in the barrier reef? Very interesting one, in fact. So yes, yes, Sanjeev. Sharks are also there, but not specifically in the barrier reef. It's spread over the entire area. The Great Barrier Reef is not a small area. It's spread over around 3,000 square miles. So not only sharks, you can also find other sea fishes, various kinds of sea creatures there. We also have a very interesting question from Shiva. How can we save the ocean? So, Swikriti, would you like to answer this? So, friends, okay. So, I'll ask you all, how can we save our ocean? You all say, like, yeah, I am reading your comments. So, tell me, how can we save your ocean? Uh, we, ca we can save the ocean. Yes. First, let us take ideas from you guys. Come on. Come on, children, give us some suggestions on how we as an individual should save the ocean. Any idea that comes to your mind? We are waiting for your suggestions. Like people are saying that we, we should stop using plastics. Yes, people, I, yes, children, I am reading your comments. We should minimize wastage. We should stop plastics. Okay, great. It really feels great to see that all of you are so much aware about saving the ocean, about plastic pollution. It gives so much pleasure to us. We also want more suggestions from you. Yes, kids are replying that we should not, uh, not throw garbage here and there. And we should keep our city clean so that uh, Oceans will also be clean and all. Yeah, people are replying. Exactly. All Great. of the suggestions you gave are absolutely correct. 
but it's also important that we implement them in real life so that is what is expected from each one of us right so as i can see we also have another question it's a quite innovative one in india do we have coral reefs okay so question is open for all of you again so how many of you think that india also have coral reefs please comment in the chat section yes do we have any answers from you has anyone replied yet yes shomorto they are replying yes yes they are replying so do we have any just wait for few more minutes and then we'll share okay come on everyone keep brainstorming yourselves find out you must have heard of those names they are very famous tourist destinations in india and they are famous for their coral reefs yes most of you are correct they are lakshadweep and andaman and nicobar islands great great kids you have a great knowledge amazing very good yes in fact andaman is famous for its coral islands and many people in fact people from other countries also visit here for snorkeling and scuba diving to view those amazing coral reefs underwater Shri Kriti, we also have another question from Divya. Divya asks, "Do coral reefs breathe? What do you have to say on this?" I would want my audience to answer this, since okay. they have seen the video of deep sea. I want them to answer this. Okay. So, Let us again open the floor for suggestions from the kids. What do you think? Do coral reefs breathe? do they have living systems just like us great 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 many of you have answered correctly yes corals breathe corals absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide through their outer layer very good students you all are correct amazing exactly corals are living beings in fact they are plants so they carry out breathing just like any other living organism the loudest noise in the ocean asks vikas kumar shrikriti do we have any idea on this um no i don't have an idea but i think my audience have a idea exactly. i want to hear from them exactly so we surely want to know the answer from you people come on kids do we have any answers yet from anyone okay so kanika is saying it's blue whale so she is partly correct it's a species of the whale but not exactly blue whale but good try kanika can we have more answers friends okay most of the people are saying blue whale Okay so let us tell me most of you are partially correct it's not the blue whale it's a species called the baleen whales they emit sound as loud as 180 decibels which if you want to imagine would be louder close to a jet plane sound so that was a new information for all of you so now that we are done with the deep sea video let us embark on another virtual journey and believe me kids this will be going to be more interesting than the previous one now we will be entering the world of snow and ice can you guess what we are talking about 
as you can already see we will be leading ourselves into the virtual journey of antarctica right so get ready everyone we will be starting our journey within a few minutes yes yes somorto i am really excited and waiting to be transferred virtually to the fascinating world of snow and ice the fascinating world of antarctica so friends are you ready for this journey i am really excited i have never been to antarctica and i really wish to spend some time now virtually in the world of antarctica and get mesmerized and please even i can give see your attention everyone you will have your quiz after this session so the quiz questions can also come from the video so keep attending guys keep enjoying the most coldest continent is waiting for you all the bright blue sky the snow the ice fields the ocean which is stretching beyond the horizon so let's get ready to walk among the piles of ice without leaving your home what comes to your mind when you hear the word antarctica yes you guessed it right it's covered with ice full of snow but do you know that it is the coldest driest windiest and southern most part of the earth it is located almost below the antarctic circle and is surrounded by the fridged southern ocean it is the fifth largest continent in the world but do you know it nearly as large as the entire continent of australia yes you heard it right it is nearly twice as large in size as the entire continent of australia it covers around 5.5 million square miles about 98% of the antarctica is covered in the sheets of ice however in spite of some fascinating facts this continent antarctica is recently discovered yes you heard it right it was not known to humans until modern times although it is so cold in antarctica it is a desert with little rain or snow those huge chunks of ice which you can see in the video are accumulated in different forms such as glaciers ice bergs ice shelves coming to talk about the climate there are two seasons yes you heard it right guess what are the two seasons Oh yes some of you are correct there are summer and winter seasons in antarctica as it is located very close to the south pole each summer brings long period of daylights and winter is just the opposite it brings long period of darkness 
Antarctica is famously home to penguins and is visited by the scientists. Do you know that there are no trees or bushes in Antarctica? There are only two flowering plants. They are Antarctic hair grass and Antarctic pearl wort. Apart from that, the other types of plants are fungi, algae, etc. Very few animals survive in the frozen desert of Antarctica. Either you will likely to see penguins, seals and some other seabirds, but there are variety of water animals found in Antarctica, namely fishes, whales, as well as squid, mollusks, etc. Antarctica never had an indigenous human population, but there is an abundance of wild life. Do you know? that Antarctica has most active volcanoes in the world? As well as the only known lava lakes. And do you know a fun fact that in some part of Antarctica, deep lakes are so salty that it cannot freeze even in temperature as low as minus 15 degrees Celsius. Antarctica is abundant in natural resources. The ice covers majority of Earth's fresh water, that is about 70%. This is one of the many reasons the ice cap in such a precious resource as that ice melts in Antarctica and it mixes into the salt water which is surrounding that continent. Friends, do you ever wanted to search for a meteorite? If yes, then Antarctica is the best place to do it. The continent is perfect for finding fallen space rocks. It is very easy to find space stuffs in Antarctica. Do you know the nearest countries to Antarctica? Okay, let me tell you. The nearest countries to Antarctica are South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Argentina. And yes, after seeing water all around, you may have a question that do people swim in Antarctica? Guess what? The answer is yes. In fact, each summer, hundreds of daring travelers take part in the Australian Antarctic program. Despite this, it's teeming with life. It's truly the most beautiful place. To see a place so preserved is incredible, unlike everywhere else on earth. I hope you all enjoyed the tour and learned 
fun facts about antarctica now it's time for some quiz so are you ready for the quiz Are you ready for the quiz? Wow, it was indeed a magical experience. Wasn't it, Rikriti? Yes, I literally felt as if I was walking with the penguins beside me on the ice. Did you feel the same, Samartho? Exactly. In fact, I felt the video ended way too soon. we could have traveled a few more minutes in the wonderful fascinating world of antarctica so kids what do you have to say please let us know in the comment section how was your experience what did you feel do you have any questions yes yes somorto kids have many questions let us see what they have to say Okay so we already have a question from Ishan Agarwal he says that is antarctica more cool or the arctic pole well quite a difficult question in fact it's really difficult to separate arctic pole and antarctica on the basis of their coldness what do you have to say shwetrite even i feel that uh, like as per my knowledge i think that arctic ice is cold right but exactly. uh, i exactly. don't know let you us are correct friends. you are correct antarctica is more drier than the arctic because the arctic has an ocean around it so antarctica is basically a dry desert so antarctica is obviously more cold relatively more cold than the arctic so any other questions kids okay we also have another question which fishes live in antarctica well abir mukherji not only one kind of fish every kind of fish you can imagine lives in antarctica lives under the water in antarctica yes we also have another question from aishani pande can it also be called a frozen desert yes aishani it can certainly be called as a frozen desert shrikriti do you have any other questions yes. can you see uh yes yes i can see many questions Okay, so one question from Mind Tech is: How cold does it get in Antarctica? Well, Do you have any knowledge? Yes, much colder than we can even imagine here. The temperatures go as low as minus forty degrees Celsius in Antarctica. It's basically and keeping French. water in the open and seeing it freeze right in front of your eyes. It's that cold in Antarctica, friends. okay we also have another interesting question what will happen if all the ice melts this is really an interesting and futuristic question shrikriti you would like to say anything on this uh yes first of all i want to know what my audience think so i wa i want to read the comments what they want to know so guys please reply in the comment box i want to know what you feel So kids, come what on. What will happen? Use your imagination and visualize what will happen really if all the ice in Antarctica melts in the future. Samurto, I can see many answers rolling down. So let's wait for a few seconds and then we'll start off. Yes, people are already wow, brainstorming kids. themselves, searching for this wonderful answer.
good to see kids are so intelligent wow amazing i can give everyone a hint the melting of ice in the glaciers is somewhat related to a various a very serious issue nowadays and that issue is global warming climate change so it is directly and indirectly related to these two issues environmental concerns okay till we get answer for this i would like to take up another question from shukpreet kaur she is asking why penguins live in ice and why they can't live in hot region very good question basically their body structure is made up in such a way that they can only survive in cold regions like antarctica their body structure will not be suitable to live in hot and humid areas am i right shrikriti yes yes because penguins have high body temperatures so to remain it active they need to live in the cold weather so i think now we can give answer to our previous question what will happen if all ice melts in antarctica so i can give you an idea basically you can imagine if all the ice kept in your refrigerator melts what will happen it will turn into water right and that water will add up add up in your room or in your house so basically what will happen the water level if your house was a pond the water level of the pond would increase right so the water level of the oceans and seas would increase worldwide if the ocean if the ice starts melting am i right shrikriti yes yes you are absolutely right the ocean would cover all the coastal cities and the land area would shrink significantly exactly we also have another question from saranya ponraj are there any humans in antarctica really interesting one what do you have to say shrikriti basically antarctica is full of and why lives and mammals okay uh, humans so basically are there, it is uh, unsuitable for humans right it is unsuitable for human habitation so humans can hardly survive in antarctica so it is the place where specially designed animals with fur like polar bear and penguin survive it is really uh, di- it would be really difficult for people to survive in antarctica do you agree yes yes i totally agree with it in so, fact it is a surprise to hear that antarctica is also the only continent without an indigenous human population yes although, you are correct although there are no native antarcticans and no permanent residents or citizens of antarctica but many people do live in antarctica each year yes right it is really surprising to know this so kids now that you have enjoyed two fascinating virtual journeys are you ready for the quiz please give a thumbs up if you are ready shamortho we have another question from simran kaur the question is Antarctica is a cold city but still there are active volcanoes like is it right yes it is right basically volcanoes erupt from under the earth so it has nothing to do with the temperature it is basically with the geography of the region so yes antarctica also has active volcanoes and shamortho do you know Antarctica is the only continent where we have lava lakes. Really? That's really fascinating to know. Yes, it is the only continent where we have lava lakes. So Antarctica is certainly one of the most fascinating places on earth. We will certainly visit it one day in the future. Won't we? Yes, yes. Okay. So now we are all getting ready for the quiz. so kids and participants 
now we will be going on with the quiz so please check your computer screens the instructions for the quiz are already mentioned what you need to do is first open a new browser open a new window in your browser and paste the given link the link will also be mentioned in the youtube section please have a look did everyone find the link please give a thumbs up in the chat section the quiz yes, will be really interesting the quiz will be really interesting here up guys we have 10 questions for you all if you all have seen the videos very attentively you will certainly be able to answer all the questions so has everyone joined the quiz yes somorto most of them has joined so let us wait for a few more seconds for everyone to join then we will be starting the link and kids remember once you start the quiz it will end in 5 minutes so you will have 5 minutes to answer the 10 question so be very attentive do not be in a hurry Shomor. take your time yes yes somor to our kids are very intelligent they will wrap up in 5 minutes for sure you also need to mention your name and email id in the quiz form that you receive on the link if you have any doubts please feel free to type in the chat section I think most of them have logged into the quiz, right? They're all busy submitting their answers. Vikriti, can you see any doubts in the comment section regarding attending the quiz? No, no, there are no such doubts. I'm sure the kids must be really enjoying attending. Yes, the most questions. of the people have sub uh, have submitted the quiz answers also. Like there is a uh, person named Harish. He has already submitted. Great, great! You guys are really fast. So proud of you all. We are all waiting for others. and you yes, also uh, have divya is also prizes. submitted we also have exciting prizes for the winners of the quiz so gear up and answer carefully somor to our kids are very intelligent they don't even need 5 minutes they have submitted within 2 3 minutes wow amazing amazing samir and kids after this events get over the eco fest will not be over we still have many interesting events left we have art for workshop best out of waste management you can still register for them and go on another magical experience like you had today so hurry up and sign up for the contest we will be sharing with you the link at the end of this session right shrikriti yes Yes, Shamor. So even we have fancy dress competitions, story writing, photography, poster making, and stand-up comedy too. Wonderful! The kids will really have a great time attending all these events. And remember, everyone, all the results will be announced on twenty-sixth of June. So you will all get to know how you participated and how you fared in the quiz. all the winners will be announced on 26 and will be communicated over to your email id so keep checking your email ids
So, friends, so, like the ones who have completed, can you tell how was the quiz questions? Was it really tough or easy for you all? Write it on the comment box. Yes, yes, friends. How did you enjoy the quiz? All entries will close within the next one minute. So come on students, whoever have not submitted, please complete the quiz and submit because after that entries won't be possible. Hurry up everyone. Okay, people are saying it was very easy. Okay, let us see how many of them really go on to win that amazing prize. Even I am very excited, Chamoto. So oh, kids, you as you can see on the screen, we have the other list of events which you can enjoy. You can certainly go on the website www.bhumi.ngo slash ecofest and register yourself. Sign up for the remaining events. You will be having a wonderful time attending those. So kids, how was your experience? Did you enjoy today's journey? Please let us know in the comment section. Even I really enjoyed attending quiz during my school days. I was equally excited as you all are today. Okay, okay, everyone. So time is up. So no more entries will be allowed. Whoever is already in the quiz, please submit your answers. Please submit your answers. The time for quiz is up. I hope you are, most of you must have participated in the quiz, enjoyed it too. So we need one final reaction from all of you. Please type in with one word how you enjoyed the show, how you enjoyed the event. We went on two virtual journeys, two different worlds, one under the fascinating world of the deep sea and another of the cold and dry desert of Antarctica. And we also ended our session with a wonderful quiz contest. And results will be announced on 26th of June. So keep checking your email IDs. And finally, I, on behalf of Bhumi and all other volunteers, would like to thank you for participating in this wonderful journey of EcoFest. We would like to thank all the participants and our media partner, the Hindu for collaborating with us in this wonderful journey. This session is over, but not the EcoFest. So keep checking and signing up for the other events. We would love to have you all sign up for the various events. Because lots of surprises are still waiting for you all friends. Do sign up for the other events too like fancy dress competition, poster reading, photography. And the deadline for submission is 12th of June. So gear up yourself and be ready.